Mr. Majority Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in support of House Bill 1284 as well. I plan to vote in favor of this. Like many of us, I've had the privilege and opportunity to travel to the nation state of Israel and experience firsthand that remarkable place. I think we're all very familiar with that, with the rich history they have, the innovation, the uh, obstacles that they have overcome. The unique relationship that our nations have together and our pledge to support, uphold, defend that nation notwithstanding, notwithstanding their necessity of surviving in an extraordinary difficult environment. Like many of us, I've read the speeches of their Prime Minister. I've seen uh, his addresses before the UN Joint Session of Congress. And a constant theme that you hear is of their struggle over time. They are an ancient people. In nearly 4,000 years of history, many have repeatedly tried to destroy the Jewish people. A commemoration approaches that is key to the Jewish people called Purim. They will read at that time to commemorate a powerful story about a Persian viceroy named Haman who plotted to destroy the Jewish people. They'll read about a courageous woman named Esther who exposed the plot and gave for the Jewish people the right to defend themselves against their enemies. That story is read yearly and reflected upon yearly over and over again because it's important. It chronicles the 4,000 years of history. That particular story is some 2,500 years old. If you recognize it, it's because it comes from the book of Esther in the Bible. It is important that we recognize and continue to support the state of Israel. I believe that House Bill 1284 does that. I thank the sponsors for bringing it, for continuing to bring this important issue of standing with Israel to the forefront. And that's why I'm supporting it today. We reflect often in this time on important issues that we have to continue to keep at our forefront and not forget I believe this is one of those times. Today, I vote for House Bill 1284 and I stand with Israel.